Howdy folks, we have another kit. This is from one of the other naval weapons. Uh, this is from the US Navy. This is their Phoenix. This is a uh, machine gun type weapon that fires a lot of lead down range. Um, so this is designed to take out air aircraft and stuff and probably small ships and boats, but it's going to be uh, quite a nice tidy kit. I do like this box of the American flag printed all over it. Um, there's some of the potential colours, naval greys and naval grey and sand bottoms. Um, the box reminds me of a uh, KFC box, funny enough, because at the moment we've got uh, this funny uh, red and white boxes that you get from KFC and the box reminds you of the, the, chick the box that you get your chicken in. Um, nice manual, we can take a look at that. Photo etch and these metal rods are the actual machine guns. They are, I don't know if you can see that, but we'll take a closer look in a minute, but they are hollowed out. You've got vinyl or rubber parts for the actual gun belts. And we have three bags of screws. Sorry, four bags of screws. It's the plastic. So we'll take a closer look at this now. We're just greeted with this nice manual uh, with the flag on it. Uh, kit number is 35005. And this kit's made by, as well, it's made by. RPG scale models So I've never heard of this company before um, Your first part is all your sprues, follow etch, barrels and decals which must be there So your first step would be again like it is with most of these naval weapons Working with the floor and the actual main structural parts. This one hasn't really got a main floor. This one you have to put it together mainly. This one. So again, a lot of fine detail handles and levers, left and right and front and back. You are working on the side walls, probably houses all the electronics and stuff, left and right and front and back. Again more levers and handles going on them once they're done. This looks like some kind of door. This piece mounts to the, this piece mounts to the actual main flooring. This is the uh, funny cylinder that sits at the top the actual radar dome probably kind of thing and then you're working on the actual machine gun breech type bit for the actual machine guns and then you've got the actual dome piece again touching the handles and ladders and boarding steps and whatever Again on left and right and front and back. And then you've got this giant follow it shield which goes on the uh, front of the uh, piece which is this piece here underneath. We'll take a look at it closer. So you have to be careful and bending that into shape. I'm not sure if there's any kind of jig, probably not. You have got all the cogs for the uh, mechanism for the uh, elevation and then attaching it around the framing you have got more framing for the, the machine guns itself and then it's the main structural part and then we have what looks like the side walls again for the actual gun itself 
uh, some piping, probably hydraulic fluid and arms and stuff, hydraulic pipes. Uh, we have probably, a, yeah, that is the front of the gun, the triangle piece, and the, the machine gun barrels have come out of this hole. You're working on what looks like the upper deck, and then you're mounting all those sub assemblies you've done before together. Then you're working on your barrels, which are like brass rod, but they are hollowed out, which is a nice touch. If you're not a fan of using photo etch or brass or anything, unfortunately, this kit won't be for you because there's no other solutions, there's no plastic parts, so you have to use the metal. So you have to uh, know what you're doing, kind of thing. So I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner at all. You need to know a little bit and have a little bit of skill behind you. Attaching the main gun to the actual framing, back structural part. Not asking you to glue the uh, guns in, so it probably rotates. And then you're working on your vinyl or rubber parts, which is all your gun belts. And then these are the drums of ammunition, which houses probably millions of rounds. Because it's going to have a massive rate of fire, like I mentioned. I think it has something like anywhere from 500 to 1,000 rounds per second. It's just crazily fast and just, just a beast. You have two drums on either side, I think. If I'm not mistaken, nope, sorry, my mistake. Just one giant drum on the bottom. You have the structural uh, framing for the uh, weapon. There's going to be, for such a small kit, there's quite a lot of steps. There's a lot of fine detail parts as well. So you're looking at 44 parts or sections. More framing, touching the actual main weapon to the uh, side walls, and then touching the uh, Sub-assembly of the dome, main weapon and the flooring that you've all built in three sections, sandwiching it all three together. And the final touches is some of the handles over the uh, hatches for maintenance. You have some more photo etch, or is that masks of some sort that goes over the front of the weapon? I'm not quite sure what that is. You have stencils there though for them, so I'm not 100% sure what that is quite for. And then there, what looks like your finished model. Blank page. We have one of your colour callouts. Uh, calling out for Mr. Hobby Colour H95. Tamir AD and Vallejo colours, which is nice. So a naval grey of some sort. The uh, back of the uh, dome on this one is like a blue. Um, and it does show you a little bit of weathering and stuff on it, which is nice. And you have this one, uh, um, which is naval grey all over. And then Naval Marine 100 weapon. So this one's got grey dome with the blue bluish bottom. Or you've got another one here which is the grey top and desert bottom colour. Um, Yeah, so that's that. Here is your vinyl parts or rubber, rubbery parts, really soft plasticky pieces. So there's your gun belts, rubber grommets. Some kind of skirt 
and the boot skirt goes hit this one as well. It's got some kind of creases in it to mimic fabric. And there are two identical screws in here. This houses all the uh, framing for the weapon and this piece is I know is down the bottom for the electronics area. Fine detail for handles and levers. Some plastic melted springs. Some kind of flooring. Again, nicely moulded. So but we had two of those. In this one we have part of the upper dome, structural floor, some kind of side wall, this is the bottom of the dome, side walls, more structural parts. Again the uh, detail is all with the bolts and stuff. So we're going to take a nice wash. We have the cylinder for the actual uh, machine gun cylinder. These are the uh, ends and all the fine detail parts. These are where your barrels would be sitting into. All fine detail parts, the hosing. Again, I haven't really seen any ejector pins in many bad places, so it's. Looks like a nice mouldy kit. Again, this sprue here has one of the floorings of both discs sits on here probably radar dome these are make up the uh, cylinder of the weapon this is the uh, framing for the radar dome this is more structural parts again it's nicely molded move it down to uh, all those rivets and stuff on the actual cylinder of the uh, dome of the machine gun. And we have metal parts, further which decals, barrels. And these are tight fit. So we have a nice sheet of brass feather which a little bit of bent up there, but it shouldn't be too bad to take off. These parts here are all steps. So be careful when folding them. Make sure you fold them the right way. Because you're going to only get one shot of doing this. There's that giant piece that goes over the front that you've got to bend round. Um, here's another photo etch. Cogs. Um, unfortunately you don't see any of those because they're inside. But it's a nice touch they've done them in metal. More structural parts. What looks like some kind of flooring. Here's your metal barrels made of brass. They are hollowed out. Uh, 
know if you can see that, but they are It focuses on camera. I don't know if you can see that, but they are they are hollowed out though. Don't know if you can see it, but they are kind of hollowed out. Put these back in the bag quickly. <laughs> and we have some basic decals with warning symbols and stuff. And we get the US Net Marine 100. That's the one I probably do. And some more warning symbols and stuff. So there you go, guys. This is another kit from RPG Phoenix. Um, it's an M MK15 machine gun type weapon for the US Navy. Um, yeah. Howdy folks, we have another kit from RPG. This is their second version of their anti-aircraft defense system for the ships. This is their rocket launcher type 1. This is similar to the uh, Phoenix, but this is the one that houses the rockets. So pretty much... This whole section and this section is all going to be, and the base probably mostly going to be the same, apart from the actual weapon itself. It's going to be the slight difference. Uh, let's take a look what we get in this one. So this is the MK15 Mod 31 C Ram. Uh, kit number 35004, 135 scale RPG models. Um, it's a slightly different opening box. This one's from the top opening. I haven't look, actually looked at this one yet. So I'll go with the brown box, everything stuffed into this brown box. So we have your decals and feather etch, like I mentioned, you're going to find a lot of similarities to this kit to the previous one. Um, and there's the actual rocket tubes. So this is section probably the only difference, but the rest of it's going to be pretty much the same. There's the framing, the flooring looks identical before and the radar system. You do get vinyl tubes in this one, um, but I think you would only be using these two, not the actual gun belt, because it's, as I say, this is the rocket pod version, not the machine gun. So again, nice manual. Similar to the one we looked at previously, with a nice flag on it. Parts in there. I'm positive though the uh, belts that are not needed in this one. So again the flooring is identical pretty much. Making up the uh, square box type thing. And then you've got to attach your handles front, back, left and right. And then the radio equipment area, or electronic box and stuff. Touching that to the actual lower portion of the weapon. 
making up the radar dome system. And then you are working on another. I hope this is the actual rocket pods itself. So this is the uh, difference between this one and the other one. And then you're working on the upper dome. Again, touching fine uh, ladders and levers. Again, front, back, left, and right. And you've got a bit, again previous look it was on the other one. You've got to bend that giant shield around the front. Attaching what looks like another radar system thing on the side, which is that small sub assembly, which I thought was a rocket pod, but it wasn't. This section now is your rocket pods. Touching all fine detail parts and asking you if you to uh are they even, what section are those? Yeah, so there is those those glue symbols are to glue points. I thought it was not to glue it, they are glue points, so yeah. Once it's all built, put the sidewalls together by the looks of things there, they're pretty much the same as the uh machine gun version. Attaching your rocket tube pod section to it um, and then attaching your radar dome on top and then attaching your rocket pod and your flooring all together like it was on the previous weapon so sandwiching all three together and all your handles are all going over the uh, doors again that's pretty much the same and then you've got those funny shapes that go on the front which is probably your mask like yep like it was before with those masks so yeah so this weapon is pretty much identical to the machine gun apart from this is the rocket version and the other one is the machine gun version colors are going to be pretty much similar i'm not sure if they have both weapons on the same ship at the same time i really don't know so again this is uh like a naval gray with the uh blue You have a naval grey and a darker grey. This one's the naval grey all over, by the looks of things. And this one here again is slightly different shade of grey all over, with a darker top and dark bot and a, a darker uh, light top and dark bottom. Very similar. There is no significant decal markings on this one. You just get your name tag um, and warning symbols. I say so this fellow etching side is going to be probably identical to what we looked at on the Phoenix one. Yeah, these parts are pretty much the same. Same amount of structural parts, and there's that piece that you have to bend round the front, and all of these are the uh, steps. So this, these two parts are identical. This stencil data and stencils, warning symbols are the same as well. I'm not going to take most of these out of the bag because you've seen this on the previously kit. So the, again, these are the vinyl parts. You've seen these sprue before. This is uh, the dome and the uh, side walls and flooring. This is the radar system and flooring. This is the side walls. There's two sprues the same. The only new part and the difference between this and the Phoenix is, like I say, this is the rocket pod version. So this is the only piece that is different. This kit probably a little bit easier to build. 
But when saying that, it's probably not. I haven't built these, so I can't say. But it looks a little bit easier. So this is the difference between the other one. This is the rocket tube housing. Um, unfortunately, it's not like the uh, jet, um, Russian Navy one. We haven't got no rockets, so you can't have them just coming up the tube. They're all sealed up. But nonetheless, still nicely detailed. So there you go guys, there's another kit from RPG, CRAM, Rocket Defense System, for US Navy. Um, anyone knows about these weapons, what ships they belong to, please leave a description and information down in the comments. Much appreciated. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.